this video is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. Rachel, what's that new picture you have put on the wall today? Why has the man grown his beard? Was he in a lockdown? Well, Pip, beard is a part of his personality. This was a tradition in old days. Oh, who is he? He is the 16th President of the United States of America, Mr. Abraham Lincoln. He was born on February 12, 1809 in Kentucky. Abraham Lincoln's father was a farmer. They were poor and the family lived in a log cabin. Oh, born in a poor family and became the President of the United States? This sounds interesting. Hard work and determination is the key to success. Abraham Lincoln is the greatest example of hard work and determination. You know, he was a lawyer by profession and the only American president who has a patent to his name. I want to know more about him. Sure. So born in Kentucky, he soon moved with family to Indiana and later to Illinois. Abraham Lincoln lost his mother when he was just nine years old. However, he was a loved child of his stepmother. She inspired him to read a lot of books. He must have been an intelligent kid at school. Lincoln went to school just for about 18 months and later studied on his own. He even used to memorize what he learned by writing on logs of wood. His love for reading was so much that he once walked about six miles to borrow a book. A walk of six miles just to borrow a book? Yes, that was his determination to learn. Abraham Lincoln once said, My best friend is a person who will give me a book I have not read. By the way, my friends, do you remember when Abraham Lincoln was born? Oh, you are asking these kids who are watching the video? Yes, I am asking you. I can tell. Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809 in Kentucky. That's great, Pip. At the age of 22, Abraham Lincoln moved out to work in a general store, where he got the title Honest Abe. Honest Abe? But why? One day, a customer paid some extra pennies at the general store by mistake. After the store closed, Abraham Lincoln walked for miles to return those extra pennies. Since then, he was given the title Honest Abe. Okay, so Abraham Lincoln was honest and loved to read. But how did he become the President of the United States? Lincoln always wanted to work for humanity. He once travelled from Illinois to Kentucky in a ferry, where he saw some slaves tied. He knew that slavery was wrong and wanted to abolish the system of slavery in the United States. In 1832, he ran an election of the Illinois State Legislature but lost it. After that, he failed in a business and later joined the army and served as a captain. After that, he studied on his own to become a lawyer. So many failures! But he did not give up? That's a lesson for all of us. We must never give up when we fail. Instead, we must keep trying to achieve our goals. Absolutely. Abraham Lincoln once said, I am a slow walker, but I never walk back. You know, he did not go to a law school. He studied on his own and passed the law exam to become a lawyer. How did he become the president? Very soon he became popular among other lawyers for his knowledge. In 1834, Abraham Lincoln was elected to the Illinois State Legislature and remained a member till 1842. 
In 1842, Abraham Lincoln got married to Mary Todd and had four kids. Pip, do you remember the title that Abraham Lincoln received when he was working in a general store? Honest Abe. Yay, I am listening to all that you are saying because it is so interesting and so inspiring. So, when was he elected as the president? In 1846, Abraham Lincoln was elected to the US House of Representatives. He worked hard for the development of the community but was not very successful in politics. Still, he continued to serve the people and wanted to remove the system of slavery from the United States. In 1860, he became the 16th president of United States from the Republican Party. Wow, that's an inspiring story of success. Yes, but he faced a lot of difficulties during his presidential years. A civil war started in 1861 between the northern and the southern states of the United States over slavery and other cultural and political differences. But Abraham Lincoln was determined to keep the country together. He removed the system of slavery from the United States. Truly, Abraham Lincoln was a bundle of qualities. So how were his later years as a president? The Civil War ended in 1865 and Abraham Lincoln was determined to bring the country back together. But sadly, he did not live to see that happen. Less than a week after the end of the Civil War, Lincoln and his wife were watching a play at the Ford Theater where he was shot in head by a man named John Wilkes Booth. Abraham Lincoln died the next morning on 15th April 1865. His life is an example of how strong determination can create success. Truly Now I understand why he is called as one of the greatest presidents of the United States of America. Yes, it is said that his leadership during the Civil War was extraordinary. He was a savior of humanity and a true hero. Trivia time. Do you know Abraham Lincoln's face is on pennies and 5 dollar bills? He was included in the Mount Rushmore and a memorial for him stands at the Washington DC. Abraham Lincoln kept his important documents inside his hat. That brings us to the end of the inspiring story of Abraham Lincoln. Tell us what did you like in him and if you want to know some more interesting facts and would like to take a quiz about him Then visit our website www.makemegenius.com. We will come back with another inspiring story just for you. Till then, stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. See you soon.